and welcome to a brand new YouTube video on the Basin United Superfans YouTube channel. Today I'm heading off on another away day. Uh, it's Basin United against Malden and Tiptree um, away. I just said that obviously. <laughs> um, I'm going on my own today again. Mia's missing out on another game. Uh, unfortunately she's feeling very unwell today. Um, so I do hope she gets better soon. Um, obviously I said that to her in person as well. But of course it is disappointing that she's missing out on uh, a fourth game in a row now. Um, which I, she's quite disappointed about. She's quite upset about it. Um, but hopefully Basin United can get the win for her. Um, before this video uh, gets to a proper start. I just want to say can we try and hit 30 likes on this video. Last time I hit, set a like goal of 50 likes. Um... It's, uh, the other video is currently on 20 likes, so I don't think that's going to work out um, just yet. So I'm going to say 30 likes. Um, that would be amazing. So if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button. Please like the video. Um, please turn on post notifications so you don't miss when we upload a brand new matchday vlog. And yeah, um, hopefully Basel and United can pull off a good result today. Last time we played them uh, was at home. We unfortunately lost 2-1. Um, it was a brilliant game. We, um, we played very well, so did Morden and Tiptree. Let's hope we can do well today. Come on, you bees! Right, Morden and Moving on to score predictions very quickly. Um, my score prediction for today is 2 0 to Basildon United. I'm feeling confident. I feel like we could get a good, a good result out of this game. Uh, my dad says, unfortunately, a 4 0 loss to Basildon United. Um, my Uncle Peter said 3 1 to uh, Morden and Tiptree. But yeah, so hopefully it'll be a good game today. Uh, come on, you bees. So I forgot to say, James Beardwell's score prediction was 1-0 to Basel and United. Yeah, please get a draw to win the league. They were lucky to beat us. We were 1-1 and they scored the last six against them. Help him! Help him! Yellow! 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 Oh, Hello, oh Callum. Oh, What are Santos? Go on, go on. Go on. Ah, that's go us. Oh my god. You're fucking pissed. There's only one Russell Hurley. One Russell Hurley. There's only one Russell Hurley. One Russell Hurley. There's only one Russell Hurley. Get in there. He's got it. That was, oh my word, it still remains, nil nil, get in! Oh, 
time score, Morgan and Tiptree nil, Bazaar and United nil. And we know we all win shit! And we know we all! <laughs> One nil more than a tip tree. Beast! 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 Well I'm Russell! Not long left now until full time. Um, still one nil more than in tip tree. Can't really. We have played really well, but it's just like it was a scrappy goal. Morden, Morden's goal was a scrappy goal. Um, there wasn't really much we could do about it. Keeper tried his best. The defenders tried their best. And just you know, it was unlucky to concede. But so, but hopefully in the last few minutes that remain, we can perhaps pull off an equaliser. So the full time score was Morden and Tiptree one, Basel United nil. Uh, it's a very, it's a very good game in a way and a very frustrating game in a way. Um, Basel had several chances, um, a lot of chances, uh, just not able to put them into the back of the net. Morden had a lot of chances of their own. Um, one of them obviously leading to a goal. Um, it's just again, it's just like, unlucky that we can see to a scrappy goal. Um, but fair play to them, they were the better side throughout the whole game and uh, you know, but um, uh, Bowers and Pitsy won today so they have won the league title so congratulations to them, congratulations to you guys for winning the league title, you fully deserve it, um, you know you've worked so hard this season despite the rivalry, um, I really congratulate you on winning the title today so well done to you guys. Uh, yeah. I'll speak to you again when I get home. So I am, of course, now home from uh, the game between Basel and United and Morden and Tiptree. Um, unfortunately, of course, as I've said before, we did lose 1 0. Um, it was a well deserved win, I think, for Morden and Tiptree. They were the better side. Um, there were a lot of positives to the game, though. Uh, we did play really well. We had quite a few chances of our own. Unfortunately, none of them ended up in the back of the net. Um, we had. We we were defending really well throughout most of the game. Uh, the goal we conceded was quite a scrappy one. The defenders, you know, just were, and the keeper weren't able to do much about it. Um, but they, it was quite an equal contest. Both sides were dominating, pushing at each other very well, and attacking quite a lot, quite like attacking constantly. Um, I'd say a, bit, a key player for us would be um, both uh, two key players for us. I'd say would be. Um, Callum Taylor, Santos, and uh, when he did come on, Daniel Chima. Um, uh, and I'm sure the uh, rest of us and United fans would have some others to say as well. But in my opinion, those were the three key players for Basin and United today. Unfortunately, after today's 1 0 loss to Morden and Tiptree, that does put us into 17th position in the table, um, which is only two places above the relegation uh, zone. Um, we have four games remaining left of the season, so I'm sure we can manage to be safe. We heavily rely on Mildenhall Town and Witten Town's results as well, um, as well as our own. So it, it is nervy times, but I'm very confident that we will be fine this season and we can stay up and rebuild next season. And next season will be much better. 
Now, before I do end the match save vlog, there is two things I want to speak about. The first thing um, I did speak about shortly, just um, when I was leaving the Morden and Tiptree ground. Um, today, uh, Bowers and Pitsy beat Deerham Town 4-0 uh, to be crowned uh, Bostick League Division 1 North uh, champions. They did win the title today, um, which I want to say a big congratulations to them. Despite the rivalry between both clubs, like my uh, my team, Basel and United, and Bowers and Pitsy, um, despite the rivalry, I think what you guys have all done there is absolutely outstanding. You you guys have done absolutely amazing to just about miss out on promotion last season up to the Roman Premier, um, and then this season to do it all again, but this time manage to grasp promotion, and not only promotion, but the title, I think is amazing. You've all worked so hard to get it. Um, it, is, it is disappointing. Because I just I just think to myself, you know, Basel and United, we were top of the league from August till November of 2018. Um, but, you know, that's football at the end of the day. Things do change. Um, but, you know, like I say, huge congratulations to them. You fully deserve it. So well done to you guys. Another thing I wanted to speak about um, was quite a different thing I was, uh, that I wouldn't normally talk about. Um, there's a new non-league team in Basildon, um, like the Essex area, Pitsy, Basildon. Um, it's a football club called ba Pitsy Town. Um, they've recently started out, they've played a couple of friendlies. Um, I think they're going to be starting out in the mid-Essex League, which is, um, I'm not too sure what tier of English football it is, but... Um, yeah, they're a new starting out. They're a team that's just starting out. They've got a few new. They've got a few players coming in. Um, they've played a few friendlies. Uh, one that was held at Basel United ground. I was going to go to it and film a ground hopping video, but unfortunately, um, I um, didn't get to go to it. Um, I think I think it's it's fantastic that they're starting out. They played a friendly today against Wakering Sports, I believe it was. They lost three one. Um, I heard they they got quite unlucky. I th they said uh, I I heard that they were actually the better team in the game. But um, yeah, I just wanted to you know give a give a shout out to them. They need all the support they can get. Uh, it's their brand new team, like just just come just coming into non league football now. So you know they need all the support they can get. Um, I'll be sure to go over and watch a game of theirs at some point. Um, if you do want to go and watch them, uh, their home ground is uh, Markham's Chase Park in Langdon, um, Essex. And if you ever want to go and watch them, uh, their Twitter, I'll leave a link in the description to their Twitter. Um, so you can maybe message them on Twitter or tweet towards them when they have a match. Um, and, you know, you can go watch them because they do. They, they seriously do need all the support they can get a team that's starting out, you know, at the very bottom. Um, and they will really appreciate the support. Um, they would really appreciate me giving them a shout out as well because I let them know that I would be doing this as well. So, you know, uh, go follow them on Twitter. Like I say, I'll leave a link in the description to their Twitter. Um, and, you know, if you ever fancy a bit of non-league football and your team isn't playing, then why not go and watch them? They need all the support they can get. So, uh, yeah, that's another thing I wanted to talk about. And, yeah, uh, finally, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to James Beardwell. Um, Whitton Town SC super fan. He's going through a bit of a hard time recently um, with a lot of things that are going on in his, li in his life. And uh, but no matter what happens, he is staying loyal with L Whitton Town. He's going to home and away games. He's absolutely fantastic. A link will be in the description as always to his YouTube channel. So go and subscribe, like his videos, and comment on his videos as well. Um, and yeah, he will really appreciate that. Um, he go and check out his latest match day vlog. Um, Whitton Town against Romford uh, and yeah so just uh, go and check him out fellow super fan in the Bossett League Division 1 North he's amazing um, and yeah so I wanted to say thank you very much for watching today's match day vlog please like please subscribe and uh, yeah we'll see you in the next match day vlog uh, which will be away against Soham Town Rangers <laughs>